This is setup for X band microwave antenna training lab model MAT10. Now, as you can see, there is a, a pyramidal horn antenna which is connected to a waveguide to coaxial adapter. And from the SMA connector of the waveguide to coax adapter, a 2 meter cable which is RG31650 ohm cable goes to the 10.5 GHz dielectric resonant oscillator DRO source. Now this waveguide to coax adapter probe is positioned horizontally so the pyramidal horn is placed in such a way that it, it is horizontally polarized. Now as you can see at the other end which is at the receiver end we have connected a similar horn antenna a pyramidal horn antenna which is again connected to a waveguide to coax adapter and the SMA connector which gives to a, again a 2 meter cable which is again a 50 ohm cable and it is fed to a super height receiver at 10.5 gigahertz so this setup is at 10.5 gigahertz transmitter and 10.5 gigahertz receiver now as you can see right now both the antennas are horizontal polarized and the received signal strength is 66 dB micro volts. Now as you can see if I remove the receiver the noise floor is around 25 to 30 dB micro volt which is around minus 70 dBm. This minus 70 dBm of noise floor is achievable only with the help of super -head receivers and it is very difficult to achieve using power meters or uh, any other conventional VSW meters. Now if we go into the detail of the equipment, this equipment comprises of a display wherein ME stands for memory location. Now 0001 means it is at channel 1. POS stands for position. As you can see this is 0, 0, 0 degree. S stands for step size which is 0, 01 that is the motor will rotate in steps of 1 degree M stands for manual mode or auto mode again which can be selected and this is the received signal strength right now it is reading 65 dB microvolt this again can be selected to dBm also from the menu in the transmitter section as you can see there is a 10.5 gigahertz source output which is a SMA output there is a modulation input which receives the TTL input and similarly at the receiver end there is a demodulation output and a microwave input at 10.5 gigahertz. Now in this position in this setup the antenna is ready to rotate and uh, azimuth pattern can be plotted. As you can see this is a menu control. Now this is selecting the memory, this is selecting the step size, this is manual or auto mode. Now if I select auto mode and I press enter. Now as you can see the pyramidal horn at the receiver end is rotating in steps of 1 degree. There is a phase centering adjuster which makes the antenna rotates from its face center now the distance between the two antennas is kept around 2 meters which is calculated by 2d square by lambda the relic distance and the antenna need to be kept away from the walls and ceiling because at 10 gigahertz the lambda by 4 is around 7 mm so it is very very prone to multipath now these cables are low loss teflon rg316 cables and need to be protected from the kinks and loops so every time the antenna has rotated they should be plugged out from the SMA and then plugged in again. 
once it has rotated and taken for instance 360 memory locations once it is you know rotated in one degree steps one can select five degree steps also in that case 73 locations are selected the data can be uploaded to the computer via rs232 port There is a selection of fast and slow mode in stepper motor also. And selection of 5 degree will consume less time. Now as you can see the reading has started to increase. and the 3 dB or 10 dB beam width can be found out from the polar pattern now as you can see it has reached to the memory location 360 now all this data can be uploaded to the computer via RS232 port by selecting menu This is serial mode. If we select yes and press enter, all the 360 locations are fed to the computer and the software will be able to plot the pyramidal horn antenna which is kept at the receiver end. Now the software is actually the, the GUI of this M80-10 all the 1000 locations are uploaded into the computer out of which the minimum and maximum location from the software is selected which is 1, 2, 3, 60. If we see the menu this is the step size this is 1 degree, 5 degree 10 degree, 45 degree this we have already viewed this is manual and auto mode now this db micro volt is blinking it can be selected to dbm if we select dbm as you can see this 65, 66 db micro volt corresponds to around minus 41 dbm this is memory, memory recall mode this is recall mode now this is reset mode if the motor is in some position selecting yes will bring the position to zero degree this is fast and slow mode now d stands for direction it is clockwise direction now one can select counterclockwise that is anti-clockwise direction and finally the serial mode 